hungry and looking for something so satisfying, something to truly tantalize your taste buds, then make it Charlie's, the home of the number one cheesesteak in the world. Also serving up a variety of delicious wings, freshly cooked to order under 10 minutes. With two locations to serve you, Mallet Marathon, open from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m., and the East West Highway, next to Solomon's, from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. That's Charlie's, the home of the number one cheesesteak in the world. 393-3100. Health and Wellness Minister, the Honorable Dr. Michael Darville, sharing with reporters last week that renovations are currently underway at the Princess Margaret Hospital's Rand Morgue. While these renovations won't expand capacity, Dr. Darvel says it will improve the working conditions for staff and enhance other systems like autopsies and the viewing of bodies by relatives. The health minister lamented the area is in bad shape. We move very swiftly uh, to sort it out. It's very important. When we go to review the remains of our loved ones, we need to be in an environment that fits the occasion. Uh, the name of the contractor, I can't tell you offhand, but they have been working uh, for the last maybe three to four months, and the work is moving very rapidly. It's a two-phase approach. We had to first renovate a section of the morgue where we can move the staff in that area when we get into the actual morgue itself and to fix a lot of the mechanical issues uh, to reduce the condensation because at one point there was some element of mold and you know where there's moisture, there's going to be mold. So we have to fix the engineering challenges. But I'm pleased that that contract was awarded and uh, we're making some headway in the repairs for the mall as we speak. Well, Dr. Darville explained upgrades to Grand Bahamas Rand Memorial Hospital's morgue as well. I want to speak about what we're planning to do for the Rand Memorial morgue. I was in Rand Memorial a couple days ago and that particular facility is in bad shape. Uh, we are now in request for proposal for the repair of that morgue and I'm pleased to report to the people of Grand Bahama that that is ongoing and hopefully in March uh, a contract will be awarded and work could begin immediately.